This is Sutcliffe Park in 2017, and here's much the same view in 1982. You can also see the changes in plan. Top left is a 19th century map with the Quaggy River winding its way through the fields outside London. Top right, you see the park in 1900, after the engineers had shaped the river into a charming right angle and put it underground. The aerial photographs show a flat expanse of grass in 1945 and the restored river in 2017. The river was restored because the culvert and upstream channelization caused surface water to rush off Greenwich and into Lewisham. This flooded downstream houses and gardens. After years of complaints, the National Rivers Authority, as it then was, came up with the idea of building two great concrete walls through Lewisham, imprisoning the river. So a local resident, Matthew Blumler, founded the Quaggy Waterways Action Group. Having fought and defeated the NRA, its successor, the Environment Agency, was persuaded to excavate the park and put the poor river back to something like the shape it used to have. Greenwich Council opposed the plan. I spoke to the young landscape architect, Kevin Patrick, who did the restoration plan. He was really disillusioned by the council's opposition. I believe they had two reasons. The first was that the benefit would be in Lewisham, after all, what's the point of spending money in Greenwich when the benefit will only go to another borough? The second reason was that they were going to lose some playing fields. But an agreement was reached and part of the river was daylighted. That's the technical term for it. This is what it looks like when the park protects Lewisham by detaining flood water. The ducks enjoy swimming above the paths. And if the floods are not causing damage, they're exciting and beautiful. Sutcliffe Park has become a really lovely place. Compare this with the condition it was in before, when it was mostly used once a week for football. The only people who don't appreciate the change are footballers. I used to be indignant about the compensation Greenwich Council made the Environment Agency pay for improving the park, but I changed my mind. They should have asked for more money, but it should have been a parking charge for surface water detention. The Environment Agency's flood protection money was better spent like this than by building ugly concrete walls in Lewisham, which would also have blocked off gardens from access to the river. Flood detention and infiltration should be a great source of income for the management of public open spaces. There's something wonderful about a landscape with flooded trees, shrubs and meadows. It reminds me, though I never saw it, of the old winter landscape of northern Europe, before the farmers and drainage engineers dried it out. Sutcliffe Park is now a fine example of nature in cities.